Hello, Syracuse. To Chancellor Silverwood, trustees and faculty, thank you for your leadership. And to all the graduates and your families, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. So happy to welcome you to the Syracuse alumni family. Syracuse holds a special place in my heart. I made lifelong friends here at the law school, including my, one of my best friends, Jack Owens, who ended up being my law partner and my brother-in-law. And I know my son, Bo, felt the same way from his time at the law school. For me and Bo and for Jack, Syracuse didn't just educate us. It gave us a greater sense of life's possibilities. I had great professors who instilled in me the confidence to make sense of an uncertain world and that I could do anything, even being president. And no graduating class gets to choose the world into which it graduates. Every class enters the history of the nation up to the point that has been written by others. But few classes, once in every few generations, enter to the point in our history where it actually has a chance to change the trajectory of the country. When I graduated, my two political heroes, Dr. King and Robert Kennedy, were gunned down. The Vietnam War divided the nation and families. We we're in the midst of a great movement for civil rights, women's rights, and the environment. We faced an inflection point, and we did our best to seize the moment. And now you face another inflection point. As we put this pandemic behind us, rebuild our economy, and root out systemic racism, and tackle climate change, we are addressing the great crises of our time with a greater sense of purpose. And because of you, and I mean this, I've never been more optimistic about our future than I am today. You represent one of the most gifted, tolerant, and best educated generations in the history of America. And you're going to see more change in the next 10 years than we saw in the last 50. But it will be up to you to translate that unprecedented change into a greater measure of happiness and prosperity for the world around you. And I know you will. The Irish poet Seamus Heaney once wrote, History says, don't hope on this side of the grave. But then, once in a lifetime, a long for tidal wave of justice can rise up and hope and history rhyme. Graduates, you have a chance to make hope and history rhyme. Congratulations. Go Orange. God bless you and your families.